am Jennifer Patterson, registered dietitian with Sedona North. Today we're filming our first episode of Eating According to Your Genes. We'll be showing these videos once a month and picking a different topic every month. So today I wanted to talk about lactose intolerance because this is a very common concern that I hear from people that are experiencing things like gas, bloating, stomach cramping, and diarrhea. So with nutrigenomics, we look at 70 different gene markers that impact your health and your health outcomes. So today I wanna to feature this certain gene here. It's called the MCM6 gene, which is part of a complex that helps to regulate the LCT gene, which is responsible for the enzyme lactase. So lactase is the sugar found in milk. And, or sorry, lactose is the sugar found in milk. And lactase is the enzyme that helps break down that milk sugar. So when people are experiencing things like gas, bloating, stomach cramping, diarrhea, with eating milk products, it's because of that lack of the enzyme lactase to break down the lactose. But there's a lot of different ways that we can manage lactose intolerance without completely eliminating milk products. Milk products have key nutrients such as calcium, vitamin D, protein, that we need for good health and good health outcomes. So for example, I have things out here like some hard cheese. I also have some cow's milk, as well as lactose-free yogurt and regular yogurt, and some cottage cheese. So people with lactose intolerance can often get away with having smaller amounts of lactose-producing lactose foods. So for example, instead of drinking a whole eight ounce glass of milk, having maybe a four ounce glass of milk, but with a meal. Hard cheese is often more tolerated with someone with lactose intolerance versus something like a glass of milk or ice cream. You can also now purchase the lactose-free yogurt, which is a really great alternative, which will give you some protein and some calcium without the lactose sugar. And also cottage cheese is a really, another really nice alternative that is very low in lactose for people. Now, this is a, a nice option for people who want to consume the lactose-containing foods, purchasing a enzyme that breaks down the lactose when you're consuming those foods. So here I have a children's lactase tablet and I also have an adult's extra strength. So these can be purchased at any pharmacy or grocery store. And you just take these when you're consuming those milk products. You can also buy, like I said, the lactose-free uh, yogurt, but you can also buy a lactose-free cow's milk. Um, and you can also purchase a plant-based beverage. So plant-based beverages are often lower in protein than cow's milk, but in Canada, they're often fortified with the equivalent amounts of calcium and vitamin D. We don't recommend the plant-based beverages for children less than two years of age, but for adults that are including a wide variety of foods and protein sources in their diet, that's a perfectly acceptable alternative. And of course, we do recommend the unsweetened varieties of those most often. So supplements, again, I get this question often with people that are having lactose intolerance. So do I need to take a calcium and vitamin D supplement? This is very individualized depending on the types of milk products and how much you can consume. Uh, also dependent on your risk level of vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And this is also something that we test for in the nutrigenomics report is elevated risk factors for a variety of types of vitamins and minerals. And the one um, here related to the milk products is your calcium and your vitamin D. So here you can see an example where someone was elevated risk factor for, risk factor for low vitamin D and someone that was an elevated risk factor for a low calcium level. So this is all great information when we're planning meals and planning a personalized diet approach for someone. So today I'm just going to put together a really simple snack um, that is very low in lactose, but a great source of calcium as well as protein for someone. So this is just a lactose-free yogurt and you can buy um, the plain lactose-free yogurt. You can also buy the, the uh, vanilla or the fruit flavored ones. They're going to be a little bit higher in sugar. So you're just basically putting that in 
And then I'm gonna add in some frozen blueberries. Again, this can be like berries or it can be any fruit that you enjoy. Um, today I'm just using the, the frozen blueberries. Uh, frozen is a great alternative to fresh, especially in the winter time when we don't have as many uh, rot as variety of the fresh uh, produce and the fresh fruits that we typically have in the summertime. And then finally, I'm just bumping up the nutrition with some unsalted unsalt raw nuts. So I've got some almonds in here, some walnuts, some pumpkin seeds, and some sunflower seeds. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of crunch which also gives some extra protein. It also gives those healthy fats that we're looking for, for good heart health. Um, so just sprinkling those on top. And you have a really nice snack that's low in lactose and full of nutrition. So stay tuned for more episodes of Eating According to Your Genes. Next month, we'll be featuring um, heart health. So thanks for joining us today and have a healthy day.